What's up, guys? This is Ved, and today we will going to uh, we are going to learn about navbars in jQuery Mobile. So as you can see on the uh, left window, uh, there is our code, and the output of the code will look something like that. Okay. So we got our uh, header, we got our footer. Uh, let's add some navbars after the header. So before adding something to header, let's uh, add two buttons first one is first one here and the second one here okay for that uh, we have to do nothing but uh, add a simple anchor tag okay and uh, to give uh, icons to your element you have to use a custom attribute the name of that custom attribute is data icon and uh, the value uh, is going to be the name of that icon to see uh, how many icons are in there in jquery mobile you can always go with the google like uh, icons in jquery mobile and you'll get all those icons list uh, to use okay so uh, the welcome which is in head f uh, head heading for tag will be in middle and uh, that's why that's why it will look uh, really nice okay let's finally add our last anchor tag oopsie okay let's give another data icon and this time let's give something like uh, gear okay so let's see how it's looking here it is so it looking really nice uh, it looks like a a mobile app and all okay so let's add our navbar next to add navbar there is um, an another custom attribute the name of that attribute is navbar okay so i'm going to use the gen coding style here no not one like camera and uh, search okay so let give uh, let's see how it's looking first let's refresh our page so it's looking okay but uh, there's something missing yes the icons uh, to add icons once again we have to add the data icon attribute halt mm. and uh, the second one is uh, camera So let's see how it's gonna look. Nice, it's lo it's looking really nice. Okay, uh, and one more thing, if you want to change the uh, position of these icons, the hurl camera and such, so for that there is uh, an another custom attribute, the and you have to uh, mention it on the uh, after the navbar, something like that data icon pose the that is the short form of data icon position and uh, you can go with the bottom one let's see how it's gonna look in bottom by default uh, it's uh, on the up okay on the top so there are only three value to this uh, custom attribute bottom left and right okay it's bottom only sorry 
and what happened if we go with the left let's see there it is okay so we like the bottom one okay so uh, you can all you can uh, also add these uh, before the footer also uh, let's see how Le uh, like i'm going to copy this navbar code okay and uh, on the header we write our code after the h4 tag but on the footer we have to mention it before the uh, h4 tag let's see and let's run it so here we are okay and uh, if you want to paste your code uh, after the footer so it will look something like that okay and if you want to change icons you can always change icons uh, let's see let's change our icons first let's see so the icons are changed now like here you can see okay uh, one more thing it's not looking nice uh, let's make it before the h4 okay and also uh, let's make the data icon pause to nothing because by default it gonna be on the top so where's the extra s okay here it is so as you can see it's looking really nice and uh, you can <coughs> add uh, your uh, navbar to your jquery mobile project and if you are going to look it like in a tablet it will look something like that or in a mobile it will look something like that okay even on a smaller screen okay so thank you guys for watching this is ved and once again if there is any question please uh, comment it below okay so we'll meet in next video bye guys thank you for watching happy coding